Welcome back guys, this is Srika. Today we are going to talk about primary key and its type. Now what are the different kind of primary key, the, those things we are going to cover. So today's type, topic is primary key. As per the definition, primary key is the column or the columns that contain values that uniquely identify each row in a table. So I say, if I say I have 1000 row in a table and I want to identify each row uniquely then if I say I have a key, a key means basically column, if I say I have a column and that column is a primary key column then I would say I can identify each row uniquely by that column, right? So let me repeat the definition once, a primary key is the column or the columns that or basically group of column that contains value that uniquely identify each row in a table, perfectly fine. So there are some certain rules for the primary key column. The first rule is that primary key doesn't support null, does not support null value. So all the value which are being part of a primary key column, those should not be null. Right? And all value should be there. Okay. So if I say I want to make a one column as a primary key column then that column should not have a null value and there should be a value for all the rows perfectly fine. Now there are two kind of primary key one primary key is called as a simple primary key another is called as the composite primary key okay let me explain you what is simple and what is composite. If a primary key consists of a single column, if it is a single column, if primary key is consisting is basically on a single column, then we would say it's a it's a simple primary key. And if 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 primary key is consist of a group of column or it is consisting of more than one column, I would say it is a composite primary key more than one column okay so when i say i have a primary key on a table and if someone is asking me is it a simple or composite then the answer should be it depends if the primary key is on a single column then i would say it's a simple primary key if the primary key is consists of a group of column then i would say it's a composite primary key perfectly for example if i am saying uh, there is a primary key on employee ID. So it's a simple primary key. And if I say primary key on employee ID, employee ID, and uh, employee name, just for understanding. So these are the two different columns which are being used for creating the uniqueness in a table. Then I would say it's a composite primary key. Okay. So you may have a question that only there should be an uh, integer column for making it primary key. No, there is no such rule. The rule is that the whatever the column you are choosing, that combination or a single column should define uniqueness for each and every row. So it, it could be the integer, it could be the string. Right? So this is all about the primary key and the uh, rule for the primary key and what are the different kind of primary key. I try to make the video as simple as so you people don't you people don't have doubt related with the primary key. Okay, let me give you some short demo. For example, I'm going to create table here. Create table hash list. I'm specifying as ID which is having data type int. This is my table. Let's say I'm one adding one more column called, called as a value which is having data type as a money. Okay. Or uh, for okay. And if I want to make primary key as ID, then let's say I need to write here primary key as a constraint. So if I say this constraint on this column, then this ID column is a primary key column. Okay. Let me run it. So you can define a primary key like this if it is a single. This it got executed. 
for example i'm going to write i'm going to create a primary key on another table let's say test one and here i don't want to define as a primary key so there is a, another way here at the end just write the primary key and on which column you are specifying just write there so i'm creating it on a id column right so simply write like this you will see there would be a column called as a hash test one and it will again have the primary key on this column perfect okay now i'm going to show you this is basically simple primary i'm going to show you how to create a composite primary key let's say i am creating a table create table hash test tree and here i'm having a column called as id in another column as id2 in then money i have another column sorry i have another column let's say um value uh, having a data type money now the uniqueness of this table need to be defined by multiple column then i would say primary key is consisting of from id and another column is the id2 just correct the spelling okay so if you carefully observe here the definition for this table is this one this table are having two column uh, basically which defines the uniqueness and another column i added as a money so i have created a primary key here on this, this two column this such kind of key such kind of a primary key is called as the composite primary key so composite primary key consists of two column three column four column so there is no limitation for the, for that and the main thing is that that combination should define the uniqueness in a table let me show you a small demo with the insertion let's say test one i am going to insert some data into insert into hash test one it has a column id it has a column value only two columns now i'm going to do what i'm going to simply write one insert statement one comma one let's say and listen the query see what happens i am seeing here one row is affected okay let's come back here let's type select start from the table has test one and just select the query and run the query see the output i can see here only one row inserted perfectly fine now i am going to select the same query again and running the query once so i am seeing here the message the primary key violation oh that's a weird error that okay what should i do then cannot insert duplicate key right that's a error how to fix it then but if it is a error it is not allowing to insert then why you need to fix it right you don't need to fix it it's a error you are trying to insert the duplicate value in the table which basically not required which is basically not following so our rule is that so there should not be a duplicate value so the, we can add one more rule like rule like like this there should not be duplicate value okay this is we have validated that all the value should be unique and they should not be duplicate value okay so i'm now what i'm going to do i'm going to do one thing here i'm going to pass null value for this id column as per the definition primary key should not allow the unless see what happens i can see here i got error so error is that cannot insert null value into the column id right so this is error so as per the definition if you are specifying any column as a primary key so that combination or the single column should not uh, support null that's fine then all the all value should be there for all the rows right and there should not be duplicate value in the table hope you guys understood the concept called as a primary key and the different type of primary key simple and the composite with all the demonstration uh, thanks for watching have a great day if you guys really like our video please don't forget to share and subscribe with your friend community and thanks for watching have a great day